Hi Cancers and welcome to November edition of your own Terrascope. So I'm shuffling. I will be um, kind of like telling you a little bit about the dates that you really need to think about it because astrologically we really need to kind of like think in that terms as well, right? So when I kind of like think about your sign, about think about um, that maintaining a sense of security. This is like one of your top priorities and most people don't know like how much, you know, uh, feeling comfort and feeling cushy is really important to you, right? So this month, you might be able to feel really safe. Um, and this is going to really take for you to take a little bit to, to kind of like get out of your shell a little bit right it's kind of like not like you, that you don't want to share your thoughts or that you kind of like want to allow people a glimpse in kind of like uh, in kind of like in depth of your soul right but it's going to be like i mean that sharing your thoughts is going to be you're going to kind of like need certain element of revealing yourself you're going to have to feel vulnerable and you absolutely hate doing that but but there is a big but there is a reward because with that vulnerability comes freedom of expression and potentially much closer bonds with people who will be witness to basically what you do and what you said to them so if you don't believe me uh, just wait for the 15th when we have like this new moon and that's going to really that new moon help uh, to propel you to the next level you're going to be able to understand all of these rewards that you're going to get with opening up you see kind of like dropping like two of pentacles you're dropping this preconceived notions of how things need to be and kind of like this rat race and one foot in front of another doesn't appeal to you anymore right it's going to be really important to move things forward this month this is also relating very much to mercury retrograde which we are going to experience until the third this month and then finally it moves forward right so for you also it's going to be really important that you have some alone time end of the month on the 30th when we have like this the full moon and this is also lunar eclipse that arrives in gemini so for you it is that ideal time to let go of something from your distant past right it's going to be one of those days full of memories and they're going to kind of like bubble to the surface and it's going to be really up to you to either let them come up or some simply let them pass and kind of like let them kind of like be just like in in the, that box of memories that you always keep right whether it's virtual in your head or it is like literal a box I know I was married to a cancer so we are starting here with this nine of swords and this is it you kind of like feel you want to say something you feel like kind of like it's a time to do something but you're not doing it right and there is like that thing that I was just telling you it's going to be happening I think for you in this transition because even though mercury goes uh, forward on the fourth it still stays in Libra until the 10th and on the 10th it enters Scorpio and that's kind of like where it reveals lots of things so it could be also that you'll feel a little bit of exposed this is not cups this is like swords which means could be words could be attitudes could be <laughs> that somebody is continuously maybe one trick pony this could be you it could be somebody continuously asking you for a solution you're telling them solution but they want a solution in their own terms right and look this is like coupled with six of swords also reversed so it is like kind of coming back to the old issues you'll have discussion with somebody about something from the past and this is again going back to this november 15th it's going to be one of those things that you're going to just like open your heart and you're just going to find the courage to kind of like to confront your own fears and to really fight for what you want maybe somebody left you maybe that somebody else is willing to come back or you are willing to come back to something that has been but in order to do that conversation needs to happen then you have here four of cups so far everything is reversed right did they have the deck reversed eh no not really so we have a four of cups over here and four of cups is always talking about 
um, this pleasure that we sometimes have with everything that is offered, right? It's sometimes like we enter this kind of like funk, it happens. But when Four of Cups is reversed, it, it almost looks like we are beyond capacity of kind of like having anything that really is workable and that's maybe based on something that is really entering your life you kind of like feel a little bit melancholy about it like you really want something on emotional level but on intellectual level you really don't think this is the best for you so this is kind of like where you're really really being torn and then you have like two and ones and that's so now there are like these two, two, two twos and this really talks about that indecisiveness you want to move forward but then you hesitate you move on, like it's always back and forth back and forth back and forth and this is like really exhausting you and maybe this is why whenever you feel like incentive and and kind of like enthusiasm like somebody or something happens to kind of like cross your path and kind of like take you away and then you feel unproductive you don't feel accomplished and you just like don't feel like you're connecting so hence you're getting to the point of saying why to bother even trying right be very careful that's kind of like one of the lessons this month and then you have the hangman and hangman is like about hey look this is your opportunity to really see things from somebody else's perspective right so see when i said when i talked about vulnerability we kind of like we kind of like let go of control we just tell them okay you control let's everything be the way you want it and not with spite because this person is doing that willingly why because only then you can truly connect with other people you might say something like hey i have been pushing you away all this time because i don't trust myself i don't trust myself that i will be a good person or that you'll want to stay with me after you find a b c d f about me but here it is out in the open so let's be it let's kind of go with this that's kind of like the hangman attitude allowing us to kind of like be perceived differently and also allowing us to learn about the other people who they truly are without being continuously in their own head and obsessed with our own ego what is ahead of you is the empress and this is like very similar energy they're both vibration of three uh high, the hangman is a little bit higher energy than the empress and the empress is like still into nurturing she's still wanting to be pleasing right hey do you want this do you want this do you want this sometimes when we are too pleasing the other person it's kind of weird right like when you give too much the people kind of like lose it they almost get suspicious they almost kind of like they, they kind of develop some kind of like weird they're in a weird space or you might feel that somebody like that is coming through and you're not trusting this kind of like too good to be true kind of like right you're going to have this but yet the empress is truly nurturer somebody who truly really wants to help right instead of kind of like being just like i mean given a third degree for basically being a good person and then we have the moon it's going to be suspicion. It's going to be some kind of like, look at this, the kitty cat thinks it's a panther, right? So this is like where everything gets magnified, where we are not able to kind of like really perceive anything with our eyes or intellectually, but we really need to kind of like plug in into that um, kind of like intuition and you guys really really good with that intuition right and this is also connecting with uh, i think uh, pisces because they also rule with neptune and neptune goes forward on the 28th so the end of the month is going to be very um very interesting and it's going to bring relief to many of us except especially in the northern hemisphere we'll still have the winter which kind of sucks but other than that it's going to start feeling better in your environment you have two of swords it's another two it's almost like everything feels like suspended for you this entire month you feel you don't know where you're going you're dropping your balls you're just kind of like taking your ball going home you feel that people are not necessarily kind of like uh, really kind of like straightforward but then you say okay well maybe it partially is like me which kind of shows like i mean really high spiritual development and self-awareness you're saying okay you know let me kind of like see how you see it 
But then <laughs> you see the other people and they're throwing these darts blindfolded. And so what the hell are you doing, right? Like somebody will really, really get hurt. So maybe somebody's throwing this, somebody's needling you. And, you know, it's just like so much you can take. You do have like this big armor. But as I said, like, I mean, maybe you feel that after you opened up and you've been vulnerable, that some people just want to squish you. So be careful. These are kind of like those dynamics that we have in relationship. And hopes and fears is the sun. You really want to connect. You really want this joyfulness. You really want this happiness. And it's going to happen because I read this card in this category both up and down. And both up and down, this is a positive card. This is almost like a disinfectant. So you have the moon and you have the sun in the same reading. This is really, really good. That means, like, I mean, there's like some kind of like big success. There's like some kind of like big encouragement. And look, it's one, two, three. You have four major arcana which means you'll be really guided almost like a leaf in the water it's not that you'll have many options but you'll still be in that leaf or in that canoe did you see that commercial with the little collie kind of like in a canoe what is the Subaru or some kind of a commercial just going down and everybody else is panicking that's kind of like how it's going to feel that you're going to feel that everything is happening around you while you're just simply an observer right so this is really good this is kind of like happy ending this is like everything really works out out. And also you have the emperor, so you're back in the control of the thing. So this is kind of like, see, the empress and the emperor we have together. We have the sun and the moon. Oh my gosh, this is one of the best readings ever, right? Because like you have this double empress energy, right, with the hangman, which is saying, okay, I trust so much that I can benefit, that I'm willing to relinquish every single energy and every single control. And then because you do it, people trust you because now you show them that you are really tried and true and all of a sudden there is like this huge enormous celebration so summary the way you start the month is not going to be the way you finish it because it's going to be like lots of false starts and lots of stop and goes and you might also feel that people are really flaky around you but you're going to instead of like being angry or kind of like taking charge attitude which kind of like usually it is because your card is chariot which is like a really goal oriented card now you're going to say okay well, let's just observe and watch let's do nothing and let's do nothing and see what happens let's see what happens when i'm not putting extra effort because i was putting extra effort and things were exploding in my face and right now i'm just going to be a really nice person but to a point and all of a sudden things are going to really stabilize normalize you're going to be catapulted to the next position so just as i said right guys you might need some kind of like alone time to kind of like connect with yourself to kind of do it but all of these thoughts that you have like with these nines kind of like these insecurities are going to vanish by the time we hit the 30th so cancer this is it for November. If you want daily guidance, just join my social media at Catero, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also, guys, I'm going to be releasing this year for free, which used to be paid feature um, highlights for 2021. So if you want to get it, you have to be both my subscriber on YouTube and you have to be on my mailing list on my website, ketera.ca. Just go there. The pop-up is going to show up and just sign up or scroll on the bottom of the page and say, join my mailing list. Not to worry, <laughs> I'm too lazy to spam you. You get once a month that new telescopes are in, but you're going to get a special link that you can actually get the highlights for uh, the new year. Of course, if you're one of my old subscribers and old customers, you'll be able to order your personal annual forecast, which is not open, unfortunately, to new ones because it's long and it's draining and it's exhausting and I only do it for my oldest and dearest clients. But if you become one over the 2021 by the end of that year you might qualify so thank you guys so much for listening hopefully this helps and as i said it's going to be kind of like few full starts but you're going to really be celebrating by the time we hit the end of the month so enjoy your november wish you all the best and cancer you know that i love you